What is going on, Stats Crew? It's Mr. C here, and in this video, I'm going to help you construct a histogram uh, made out of 60 data points from a normally distributed population. We're going to do this in Google Sheets. Uh, the first bin is going to start 772.5, and width of each bin is going to be 5. And also, uh, what's, what you're not seeing is uh, the, the mean provided for this problem is 800, and the standard deviation is 10. So without further ado, here we go. All right, so I recommend going to Blackboard, the technology corner. We'll pick the first folder and This formula right here. So you want to go to the section where it says using sheets to create a random sample, normal. So find this formula, copy and paste it. We're going to go to Google Sheets where the pasting will happen. So you'll do it right here in the function bar. You do have the capability of editing the mean. So in this case, I'm going to change 20 to 800. And I'm going to change the standard deviation of 2.5 to 10. Press Enter. And there's the first random value. Now what I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this cell and grab this uh, little blue square. Uh, you see you get a crosshairs on it. Uh, click and hold. And I'm going to drag this all the way down until I get to the 60th row. Okay, um, what you want to do next is right click it while they're highlighted, select copy, and I'm going to add a sheet 2 to this Google Sheets. And I'm in cell 1 here, I'm going to right click, and you want to go to paste special and select paste values only. Uh, and here's the reason for doing that. Okay, I'm going to go back to sheet 1. If I go back up and edit any other cell, say it's the first cell in column B, if I press 2 and press enter, you notice that all the values in column A have changed. All right, and, and that could be problematic if you're going to create a histogram. You don't want those values changing on you. Now if we go to sheet 2 and try to do the same thing, or if I go to that cell and press 2 and enter, none of my values change so they're fixed they're static um, and that's what we want all right we those numbers aren't going to change and that's going to be helpful for us when uh, doing the histogram so what I'm going to do next is highlight all the data so I clicked on the first cell I, I usually put my arrow in the middle of the uh, rectangle there and hold the uh, mouse down And what I'm going to do next is click the Insert tab up here. And all the way down in this um, fourth section is Chart. And you are able to select the chart type that you want. Mine has um, defaulted to Histogram Chart. We want to customize this. So click Customize, then go to Histogram. And right here where it says Bucket Size, we're going to want to select 5. Now even though this is a drop-down menu, the instructions in My Open Math say that you can edit this to any size that you want. I'm going to choose 5. It's already one of the options. My instructions also say to have the first bin start at 772. Point five. So to do that, I'm going to go to a different tab, which is the horizontal axis. And right here, where it says min, is a box where you can tell the software to start um, the histogram at any uh, x-axis value you want. So mine wants it to be at 772.5, so I'll type that in. Press enter, and there we have it. 
So if you want, you can edit the title of the histogram. Um, I'm not uh, really too concerned about that, but if you want to, that'd be nice. Um, if you don't, not a big deal. Uh, but this is how you create a histogram using Google Sheets with uh, the instructions provided in um, question one. Now do keep in mind that this is just one part of the multiple parts that are included in the problem. So um, as a little hint, as uh, you create your histograms, just keep track of the overall shape of the histogram as you increase your sample size. All right, so that, that's going to be a hint um, with regard to how you'll complete the analysis part of the question. All right, so that's for the pain and torture. I'm sorry, fun and excitement ends for this video. If you have any questions about anything I went over in it, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.